You guys, it feels like spring right now. I'm freaking out. Such a lovely day out. I'm very excited to walk around. I'm going to the Apri sample sale. Welcome to an outfit of the week. I wasn't going to do an outfit of the week, but then I realized while I was getting ready today, I was like, this actually might be a fun week to do it or a good week to do it. So why not? I am going to have to refilm last night's look, but that's totally fine. So it is Tuesday, but I'm opening with this because that's just our vibe. Then I'll just film Monday later and just add it in. I always hate when I like start a video with glasses on. Sorry for going incognito. I'm going to the Apri sample sale right now and I'm so excited it's kind of funny it's like spring like warm weather like 55 55 is not warm but like warmer in comparison then that apparel sale is gonna be like all winter coats I think I don't really know what it's gonna be so I'll take you guys along I'm very excited in Soho I think it's on Lafayette little all black everything which is a rare occurrence for me I really only do it when I'm working and when I have to be in all black but I really like this vibe it's definitely Sandy Lang inspired because when I thrifted this sweater my mirror needs to clean so goddamn bad but they're like these little like satin ruched flowers and then there's fur around them and then leather which is wild the type of flower reminds me of the Sandy Lang like flower motif I try tried to kind of pull inspo. Ideally, I would wear that fucking satin bow, like belt sash around my waist to die for. Don't have that, I wish. Sweater is thrifted. I love things with like thick bands right now. I love all these skirts. Mirror Palais did these skirts in their show. I'm Sandy Liang with this kind of like thick band. Any sweater with this kind of like thick cinch, I'm obsessed with. Loving this sweater. Haven't worn it yet since I thrifted it and I thrifted it kind of a while ago. Sorry, that is pissing me off. Real, real Marc Jacobs leather bag to pull out the leather in the sweater. Vintage Dior Sunnies that I bought from Reformation on Ludlow. Isabella Verona Capris because who else, what else? I wear them all the time. They are the best, they fit the best. My little like velvet choker that my mom made me for my 23rd birthday a while back. But I'm wearing it as a little belt because I felt like we needed something here. And then I'm doing a nylon sock with capris, which feels illegal. I know the like little slit of skin kind of feels weird, but I weirdly like it. I did it in this look when I wore this Awoke Vintage like silk satin top at an Agent Provocateur event and I really, really liked it. So that's what we're doing. And then my J. Crew little Mary Janes. The only other thing I was gonna add would be my Burberry trench. Do we need it? I do fear there are like shoulder pads in the sweater so it might look, doesn't look awful, but like I don't think we need it. We'll be fine. If I'm chilly, I'll just walk fast to warm up. It'll be good. Oh, and guys, I'm literally obsessed with Candy Glaze lipsticks in the mail and I'm addicted to color 14. It's like this like mocha-y sheen. It's the most stunning color. I'm obsessed with wearing it now and it's so moisturizing. It just feels so good. This is what I got on the lips. Okay, let's go. lovely call with the lovely Aida. We are cooking up a little a little editorial and I'm very excited about it. I have to pee really bad, but once I pee, we're gonna change because we I have a dinner with my two brothers that live in New York, Drew and Theo. Drew is, in his terms, he said this, not me, sugar daddying me and my brother Theo out to dinner tonight because he got a job and so he's spending like the rest of his severance on omakase for us. I've never done it. I'm so intrigued. I'm very excited and I'm just ready for this food experience. It just feels like so random and luxurious on this random Tuesday night, but twist my arm, I'll do it. So I'm very excited. He and my brother Theo like love sushi and Japanese cuisine and they love omakase. So I've never done it. Drew offered to treat. Who am I to deny that? because what was I gonna have for dinner tonight? Probably Trader Joe's frozen quesadilla. Like, cheers. Oh, I'm excited. So I'll take you guys along. I'll try to film, maybe I'll film each course if I can remember. I don't wanna be that annoying vlogger in like a beautiful restaurant. So we'll, we'll see. But that's what tonight's vibe is. But 
gotta pee and then we'll change. I don't know what to wear. I don't know. I don't know what my vibe is. Okay, we did laundry, so ignore it. Pouring rain out, so here's our vibe. Wearing my like thrifted black pants, my loafers. Gray Cardi, thrifted, polka dot top, also thrifted. And my wool coat from Urban. And my plastic clear umbrella. Let's go. <laughs> Wednesday team just got back from my workout and the bang just got <coughs> hella quarters we're gonna shower make breakfast and then we have a little coffee meeting at do not feed alligators that has become one of my favorite coffee shops cafes which also turns into like a wine bar and like it's just like a five and a half and I love it there and then sending out a lot of outreach for the shoot that I had a call for yesterday so doing a lot of that, so like a lot of work from home after that. I have to reshoot some content, like a few frames for brand collaboration that I'm doing on Instagram. So I have to reshoot that. We'll venture outside, which will be nice. It's so nasty out. It's like 55 degrees and rainy and dark as hell outside, but it'll be fine. So we'll have an outside adventure, but then majority of the day is gonna be inside working, which is fine. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna hop in the shower. I'll talk to you soon. Hi everybody. So, here is my Wednesday outfit. I'm wearing a hat because I know damn well it's like raining out and I know my straightened hair is just going to unstraighten. So I'm bringing a hair clip as well. But this hat I thrifted. This jacket's from a vintage showroom in Paris. I'll put the Instagram here. My 80s dress shirt. I forget where I got it. I think Three Rivers Vintage in Pittsburgh. My suede little utility belt I got off Depop. I love it. I'm storing my lip combo in there. Same lip combo, the candy glaze in 14, and then my my Wet n Wild lip liner that I've had since I was 16. You guys know my vibe. Bag is from The Real Real. I'll put the screenshot right here. Embrace K Jeans, my second pair that have a bleach stain on the pant, but they just fit better for this outfit. So we're going with that. And then my Ugg clogs that I got at the Broomfield Flea from a seller. I really like how the hat and my hair kind of match with the stripes of it all. And that the little ruffles come out of the leather jacket. I think that's kind of fun. Time to go. Gotta catch a subway. It's probably gonna be delayed because it has been for the past couple of days. Let's go get the best matcha in the world. It's like the sundown, I think is what it is. It's so good. It's like a bubbly tonic matcha. I'll show you guys. It is eight dollars. I can't even can't even think about it. <laughs> okay, love you. Let's go. Happy Thursday. Today's been a day. We need to go on a walk. For real. To the pillow. That's my imprint from today. I've just been working here. Drive me crazy. I need to fluff this pillow like ASAP. Emails for the shoe, editing all my like profiles, creating new profiles on all these like freelance social media apps so I can book jobs and all these different avenues and places. Who knows if a single one is gonna get me a job, but just tried to make as many profiles as I can. Oh, I was editing my portfolio, updating my resume, which I haven't done in a minute. I was filling out one of my profiles on one of these like freelance websites and like writing my bio and uploading all these profiles and like filling in all this info and then it crashed on me it was just like ugh, killer so i'm like i need a break from all of that and we need to move our body i did get my period today perfect storm let's just put on like not pj pants and go outside and go on a walk i did lay out my monday outfit of the night that i didn't film for youtube i filmed for a reel that was before i decided i was gonna film enough of the week so here it is this yellow dress i'll post the pictures that i posted in this look this dress i got from les mis the tag is cut out of it so truly no idea what the brand is which 
is a bummer because I would love to know as well so I could seek out more of these dresses. I'm like obsessed. Bodice being tight and then this all being loose. It's just one of the prettiest dresses and this butter yellow I'm obsessed with. Paired it with my TDM All I accessories. These two like clip on earrings. This little like bobble ring. We used a lot of these in Hadley's show and the We Go Far show. Hadley and I had talked about how we thought that using like metallics, gold, silver, rose gold. I hate rose gold. But um, any sort of like metallic jewels, whatever, would take away from the collection. It like wouldn't really make any sense with it. Like it might even cheapen it. So I was pulling her knitwear accessories. We wanted to like do majority, but then I thought the clay pieces would be really cool. Ali and Maga are like the coolest girls ever and I'm very lucky to have their pieces. So we use these guys in the show. And then I wore Ben's tight. Ben Doctor last season in September Fashion Week. I styled his show, Rotten Goodbye. These are the tights, says goodbye on a little apple on the butt. And then in the front, it says rotten down the leg. Uh, but I wore them the other way. So I wore the back and the front just because on the legs, I wanted majority polka dot. So I wore them this way. They're for sale as well. I'll link them in the description if you want a pair. Ben is so incredibly talented and I love everything he does. Accessory wise, I did my Belva label belt and then I paired it with these Jeffrey Campbell blue shoes because they were blue in the earrings, blue in the belt, blue in the shoes. And now I'm gonna cue to my reel that I made explaining my outfit and my bag options and all that because I essentially, I was gonna put this all on and refilm it but first of all, that dress is really hard to get on by myself because the zipper's on the side and it's like a really hard angle. Because I've already done it just in vertical form instead of horizontal, I'll just let past Chloe explain it away. But that's where everything's from. But these are the shoes. They kind of have like this gold snake skinny detail, but it looks yellowy and it kind of went with the, the yellow of the dress, even though this was silver. I like to mix metals, but when it's like very purposeful and this, did not feel purposeful, but it was fine. It is mine and my boyfriend's anniversary tonight. I wanted to, I was gonna do an outfit, chef and I'm like, wait, get ready with me because I don't know how to style this. I'm feeling a little like, oh, what's going on? Earrings and then my ring are both TDM Ale and they're clay. The dress is from Les Mis. I'm absolutely obsessed. I thought it could be kind of cool to add my bell, the label bell. It has to go like here. I tried it other ways, I promise. And then I put Ben's tights, Ben Doctor underneath. Um, but I wore them backwards. So I'm wearing them backwards just for the polka dot pop. I'm wearing these like blue to connect all the blue and gold heels from Jeffrey Campbell. They're kind of that like pretty ugly, which I feel like I'm drawn towards a lot. So they're like kind of ugly, but I think they look good with it. Okay, the bag is what's really stumping me, you guys, because like, okay, I have this bag that is the color of the polka dot. But I don't like the ball vibe with this outfit. It's also like too summery. So I could do the baby pink. I could do the black because we have some black in the tight. Ugh, like I feel like this is the bag I'm gonna go with, but it's just really not that cute. Like I feel like a dainty little bag is so much cuter with it. I'm wearing the YSL Candy Glaze lipstick. Guys, I'm obsessed with it, if you're wondering. And then we'll wear my white fur. Let me show you. We're going with it. Bye. Any who, let's put on some pants and some socks and let's go venture. Here's the walk fit. So not cute. I'm sorry, team. I'm sorry. She's being real. Uh, champion hoodie. Simple, cozy. A Perry jacket, Adidas pants, my North Facey walkable slippers is what I call them. And they're just cozy. Let's go. Should I just stand here and soak it in? Real just like needed to take a lap, you know what I mean? Okay, I put my headphones in and the song it immediately started playing. I'm that girl by Beyonce. Sometimes the universe just reminds you in little ways to wake the fuck up. Right. And remember who you are. Exactly. Westside Highway car wash. We in the highway. Oh my, god, my hands are so cold. Let's cross and see if there's a bench we can locate. We love the West Side Highway. Oh, I'm all over this bench. This little sunspot. Oh, this has got my name. All over it. Oh yeah. <sighs> 
I am looking directly at the Intrepid's ass right now. Yes, girl. What a view. Really good for you guys for running today. I mean, looking at all the runners, good for you. Anytime I see somebody on a run, that's what I say. My inner monologue, I go, good for them. No, I'm not being sarcastic or being a bitch. I'm literally like, that is amazing. I'm really proud of you. Especially in the rain, oh my God. My mom and I realize we both do that subconsciously, but like have never talked about it before. And I was like, of course we both do that. So, yeah, today I literally felt like a piece of shit. It's definitely like my period partly, but it's also the fact that like, you know, this freelance grind, it's not for the week. Not that I'm complaining about what I do. I love what I do. Yeah, it's a little bit like what's next? Like time to get going. Like I've cold emailed, I've DM'd, I'm doing the damn thing, reaching out to all the connects, signing up for all these work profiles where people get you gigs, all these contract workers, recruiters, and I'm always on the prowl. But yeah, it's just scary to not really have much lined up. Except for like obviously projects that I'm working on and you guys and my social media and stuff. Getting embarrassed. Um, I'm gonna keep doing all that. It's just more like, okay, like you guys keep me busy. I could do this for a living if it paid me for a living, but it doesn't pay me for a living. So I just need to get paid styling gigs and paid freelance gigs going. The sun is blinding me so I can't see when people are approaching me. So I'm just chatting. And then I get shocked when somebody walks by. Um, I'm gonna stop complaining because I'm very grateful and excited. But obviously, just always trying to remind, because I'm, I am like a, whatever. I'm gonna say content creator, I'm creating content. I'm not influencing. I don't really influence people to buy shit because I don't, do I? I don't know. I don't think I do because a lot of what I buy and consume is secondhand, you know? So I just hope that I provide like more inspo than anything because if anything, I'm anti constant, constant consumption. I don't know, you know what? That's always been like a difficult thing for me trying to like expand in the influencing social media world is like I want to get management, I want to grow, I want to get bigger, I want to be able to have this and my styling be what I do for a living and support me financially. But obviously the, the people that are gonna pay the most, being the secondhand sustainable small brand supporter that I am and that kind of being the foundation of what I'm promoting and what I'm doing and what I love, obviously that's very difficult when you need to like be a product and sell products constantly and that's your job. Obviously it gets, tricky when I say no to so many of these like garage and like whatever like full disclosure like I did a post with Urban Outfitters on Instagram and that was like such an ethical dilemma for me <laughs> you guys don't even know like back and forth called every person I know like called like my two most judgmental and opinionated people in my life that I adore to death but I was like y'all tap in like you're gonna call me I need you guys to call me on this like am I being a hypocrite is this am I selling my soul to the devil with this obviously Urban Outfitters has done have done some work it's not like a Zara or like a what I like you know what I mean they have their secondhand line and they're selling independent designers and what it came down to was that the post was not me verbally sitting down on YouTube or on reels and being like buy this product I'm obsessed with it I love this and it was more about just like Urban Outfitters I'm styling their pieces this is how I would style it here's my night out with Urban and here's my fit you know what I mean? It wasn't like, buy this product, I'm obsessed with Urban, it's my favorite place to shop. Because that would, y'all would know, like you guys would call me on that, because obviously. It's just one of those things though that it also was like, it, it paid really well, and it was one of those weighing of the scales. Really hard for me to make those decisions knowing what I stand for. Jesus Christ, I almost got run over by a scooter and I'm sad, I'm sad. <sighs> Anyways, as long as I'm not sitting down verbally just endorsing this like 
whatever. I'm never gonna sit down and read a script that I like wouldn't say normally and compromise everything and the, the community that I built and you guys and your trust that you have with me, I like to think. Anyways, I don't know why I'm venting like this right now. I, I don't know. It's just because it's hard in terms of finding my brand and my market and marketing myself to people and saying that like, you know, if this is my thing, but then there are people that that is totally what the direction that they're going in. Like, like brands like Depop and different apps and like StyleMine who I've worked with a million times and the app I use normally and the girls I adore and like people like that. It's just finding the right people, but it's definitely hard and takes time. And when you need to make money in the meantime, it's like a little dot, dot, dot. So it really like, okay, I'd be posting Instagram, but I'm like, I will literally go to a coffee shop, take an outfit photo, go back, spiral, email for the rest of my day, begging people for gigs, like email scraping the jobs, trying to find different postings, applying, updating my portfolio, but like pitching ideas. Like it's just like fashion week. I really, I adore y'all being so supportive and telling me like you love seeing me thrive, which is amazing. But sometimes it really does not feel like I'm thriving when, I mean, it just looks, it just presents maybe that way, but oftentimes it's really not. Like fashion week is an epitome of that because it's so many events, but obviously all those events, all that time, that entire week, like I'm assisting, I'm styling shows, I'm dressing models, nothing is paid, not a single thing. So it is sort of like a week and a half, longer even longer but this time i went to nashville with my friends so i wasn't working full time of just like unpaid work and favors and i'm obviously doing it because i love it for portfolio it's creatively stimulating it is what makes me want to do what i do it reminds me why i do this and working with people and supporting my friends and like that is everything so it is like beneficial in so many other ways in my life but not financially and so the come down after that of being like okay what's next you want to present that you're thriving still but then you also want to feel internally that way and that's all right Get really like epitome of ebbing and flowing babe we're just out here ebbing and flowing highs and lows and today i hit a low and that's okay but i just want to let y'all know that like it is not the slay you think it is sometimes and that's fine and i'm so appreciative of you guys gassing me and supporting me and cheering me on it literally means the world and i could genuinely start crying here now but it's definitely we've got a lot of work to do until we can say we're thriving and we've made it <laughs> trust me yeah it is it is scary it's scary out here job market scary people don't want to pay bitches to do anything styling is so hard to make money in. It is like the career of favors. Again, it is a balance of wanting to be there, wanting to learn, it being creatively fulfilling. It's so huge. And part of this industry is like paying your dues and just being there and being excited. And I'm still that, still high school, freshman year me. That's like, I just want to do it to do it and be there and like enjoy it and be a part of something because it feels so good. But also now that I'm a full ass adult and have a degree and I have paid my dues, boy, trust me, I would like to think that I'm getting paid more to do, to do these things. And sometimes it's so hard, like with styling, it's so hard. So anyways, I'm not asking for, like do not feel bad. Like it, there's so many other things going on in this world and jobs that are way more important. This is just, do not, what is this man doing? Okay, sorry, he was just pulling over, got really spooked. Oh my God, can I reenact what this man did to me the other day on the street? No, this is so fucked. Okay, I was walking. You know when you feel a presence, a silhouette behind you, walking behind you? So I felt that. And I think he was on the train with me. So I'm like, oh, a man is fully following me off the train, right? So I'm like walking, I'm walking. I speed up, especially like when we're, it's like noon during the day. We're like walking past a group of people. So I like to try to speed up through it and like just like shave him off. And when I kind of like speed up to like get rid of him, he like starts running like around me. 
And so I was like, oh, like he probably clocked that I thought he was like trying to like stab me or that I was like sussed by him. So he's probably like running to get past me so that I'm not worried anymore. Because Kieran's even said that to me where he's like, he's walked like fast behind a girl who was alone before and he didn't realize like how that made her feel. Like you just like forget when you're in your own world and like headphones in. Like as a guy, if you're walking behind a girl who's walking alone, you don't mean to come off scary, but obviously that's scary as a young lady. He was explaining that to me and I was like, oh, this guy probably felt that way. But no, he runs. I'll show you, this is so embarrassing. Also the sun is literally set, so we're gonna go home. Okay, so I'm walking. The intrepid behind me is sending me. I'm walking, he runs up, turns, plot stands right in front of me and goes, stop. He goes like this. Stop. Are you kidding? Right in front of me, we're right by like a bodega, a flower shop in the middle of a busy sidewalk. Sprints in front of me, jolts right in front of me. I like walk into him, cause I just sped up. So he runs around, goes stop right there, like stop. And I was like, I was like, excuse me? I was like, sorry? And he was like, he was like, oh my God, like I'm from, I'm from Germany. I'm not from here. I'm here for five days. Like, I just have to say, you're so beautiful. Like, tell me about yourself. Like you have me, like, I just needed to stop you. Like, I need to talk to you. Like, I'm, from, I'm not here for very long. Like, are you from here? Where do you live? Do you live near here? Like, do you have friends here? Like, he's like, just going ballistic, like just saying all this stuff to me. I'm like, sir, that is, very nice, I appreciate it. I hope you have the best time here. Um, I do not live here, I'm visiting a friend. He goes, what's your name? Tell me your name. I go, Samantha. Like, I'm literally just like, I'm not gonna fucking tell this guy anything, because he's fucking weird. And any guy that's gonna run in front of me and go, stop right there, hello? You don't fucking do that to a woman in New York City. That is so scary. Like, you guys don't understand how scared I was. My stomach was in my ass. Anyways. Thank God he was just weird and not actually like violent, but um, time to go. <laughs> I was like, I'm so sorry. I was carrying like a package. I forget what I was carrying, but he was like, I kept trying to be like, I have to go, I have to go. And he kept interrupting me and kind of like positioning his body to stop me from walking. And I was like, this is gonna get bad. Like I just need to like say something that's gonna stop him in his tracks. I just need to like cut this off immediately and just like boost, boost home. But he was kind of, close to where I lived. So if he started following me, I knew I couldn't go home. So I was like making a game plan in my head, but I was just like, I don't live here. I'm so sorry. I'm a stylist. That was like the one thing that I told him that was actually true. <laughs> sorry, I'm not trying to get stuck in the middle of the highway. I was like, I'm a stylist. I have a client and I need to bring this package to them. I'm so sorry, I need to go. But like, have a great time. Like again, I'm not trying to be a total dick to this guy like I wanna be, but he was just kind of like really frightening, like weird. And his energy felt very like impulsive and it just scared me. So I was like, I'm not trying to like piss him off. So I was trying to still be nice, but like be like there's, but be like there's like no possibility, like bye bye So I said that, I was like, I really have to, I like tried to look so stressed, which I like was. Cause like, get away from me, have a good day. And I like jolted off. And then I saw him, I saw him go, okay. And then walk the other way, like walk back opposite of me. And then for the rest of my walk home, I was looking all around my shoulders on the other side because even if they walk the other way, they could have crossed the street and then be following you on the other side of the street. <laughs> Guys, I think about this shit all the time. It blows, but you have to. So then I just kept looking behind me all around to see where he was before I even grabbed my keys, before I even entered my apartment. Just because I can't even explain it. His energy was really, really weird. Like I was like, oh, it freaked me out in the way that he was like, I'm here for five days. I'm like, I'm not gonna like entertain you for five days, sir. Oh my God, it was so weird. And then, Something about my fucking highlights. Cause this man was older. Older men keep keep stopping me. Like this old man, I was walking to this bookstore by Bryant Park to get my friend a Sony Angel for her birthday. And I was walking and I was in my cheetah coat and he was like, sweet coat, like great coat. 
and I ignored him, I ignored him, and he was like, hey, sweet coat, and like put his head kind of in my like eyesight, and I was like, thanks, and then he started this whole conversation and then just kept following, like was walking by my side, and I was like, oh, like I gotta run, like I'm going to get something for my friend, like, but thank you, like very nice, very nice, like thanks, and he just kept following me. Genuinely, what do you do? Like, if you're walking somewhere and they just decide to walk right alongside of you. Oh my God, it was so weird. And he was like, again, it was something like, I'm leaving for a vacation, but when I'm back, I would love to take you for dinner. Like, give me your number. Like, then he told me this whole story about his friend having a boyfriend living with his boyfriend. And he was like, do you know what that's like? And I was like, huh? Him trying to ask me if I have a boyfriend. Oh, good heavens. Somebody block the grid. This has been an unexpected vet session. The moral of the story is spooky out here in the job market and on these streets. I'm gonna put you guys down. Listen to either Renaissance or the Homecoming Live versions and ponder. Okay, love you. Hey. Just came back from my workout. Happy Friday. Today at Orange Theory, we had my silly coach. I like him. He calls us kittens, but he did indeed say to roll the rower chair back, like the seat on your rower back, for daddy. And I said, sir. No, he's iconic. But that was just 7.45 class, a little too early for this man to be referring to him as daddy. I said, now what is going on? Love him though. I'm gonna shower and I need to grind today. I think what I was feeling yesterday was just a product of me trying scattered here and there, emails scattered, whatever. Today, I'm gonna try to eliminate that feeling by just like getting super organized, checking a lot off my list, doing what I can until like four. These are my nine to five days. We'll get ready, do makeup. I'll try to film like a reel or TikTok for my outfit or for my makeup or something. Film my outfit with you guys and then vlog the night. Me and Hadley are going to Genevieve's art gallery. Genevieve walked in the We Go Far show and she's so incredibly talented. So excited to see her stuff tonight. So we're gonna go to her gallery. It'll be like a cute night and then calling it like relatively early because I have like a fitting slash shoot tomorrow morning with Sintra, same Sintra. So we'll see. But also that might be canceled because it's raining all day Saturday. So we just don't know. It's been a weird week. <laughs> I feel bad. I was like, oh my God, this used to be so fun to film. Like I'll vlog all my outfits. I'll be doing so much this week. And then I just feel like I've been spiraling a bit, which is totally fine. It's important to share that with you guys as well. Especially because like I was saying, I'm not, I'm not like a full-time content creator where like all I'm doing is creating content. I'm also creating content on the jobs that I do and the jobs that I work in within the fashion industry. Because obviously I like to sh share my work and make content out of what I'm doing styling wise and assisting wise and dressing wise and PR girl wise. I just, I just feel like it's important to know, frankly, because I do get a lot of DMs asking about and how did I build this styling career and it really just sometimes doesn't even feel like I did any of that. I'm kind of freelance as a consequence of quitting a horrible toxic job and then getting let go from a job that I really loved and then just surrendering to it and trying to make the most. It is what I want to do, be freelance, be my own boss. It's just not necessarily what I feel like I'm capable of at the moment, but I just need to convince myself that I am and I see people do it and they're very successful. So I just need to keep going and believing that I can do it too because why couldn't I? Why can't I? We can do it. Sure, guys. But this is just, we're ebbing and flowing like I said yesterday. It's just part of it. So, that's fine. Love you guys. I just hope this isn't like the most out of touch, ignorant conversation of me like complaining about my career in the, as a creative. I don't know, maybe some of it's a given, maybe some of it you don't wanna hear anymore. I'm not complaining of like the day-to-day -day tasks all in all, because that I wouldn't trade for the world. It's just more like the industry and the job market at the moment. Don't know why I went off again, talking. We're gonna turn on the shower and let's, let's get to work. Don't know if I was in focus at all that entire time. I really hope I was, I'm sorry if I wasn't. What's exciting is next weekend I'm getting a new tattoo. I booked it out actually months and months and months and months and months ago because 
my tattoo artist, Tessa, Tessa Tattoo, one of the most talented people I've ever met in my life, is moving. And so it's my last chance to get a tattoo from her at this time. Who knows if it'll come up again, but she did my car and I'm obsessed with it. She did my tooth and she did my Fabio tattoo, my stuffed animal. Named him Fabio after the guy that was painting our house because I loved him. I was like six. Okay. He's in my room. So I'm very excited. And I'll show you the tattoo next week or something. Or Construction's about to go off. I can sense it because I know their schedule at this point because I'd be working from home. Um, and my work from home days are giving this. All the time. Love you guys. Time to shower. Outfit of the night. Something you probably have seen before. This outfit I wore in the summer, but I wanted to make it winterified because I was feeling uninspired. We're gonna outfit repeat because outfit repeating school. So here's our vibe. I added this little vintage pin onto it off of a gold lot that I got off of eBay. Vintage pendant I got off of Depop that I put on this string of pearls. This was like the necklace I wore at my college graduation. Wearing some vintage earrings from the same lot as this. My house labs lip again that I always wear. A vintage little like Penny Lane-ish crop jacket that I got off Depop a while back. Vintage belt that I bought at Vivant Vintage if I remember correctly. My mother's cross necklace that broke that now I wear as like a little belt chain situation. My bag from Rose and Bull Vintage. Pants that are from Awoke Vintage that I love so much that have slits down the leg. I just love the silhouette of these pants with dresses. And then my Salvage Angel boots. I'm excited to see Genevieve stuff. I can't wait. Oh, I guess also my little vintage granny bra. I bought off like the street market in New York one random day. I filmed a little makeup TikTok that I'll put right here that shows my makeup for today. It's kind of becoming my new every day. I switched the lips though, but other than that, it's the same. Okay, love you, bye. Saturday. I have a Jolly Rancher in, so that's annoying and I should have waited to put that in after I filmed this, but it's fine. It is pouring rain out, so disgusting. So we're having a cozy chill day. I'm very excited. Kieran and I are about to leave and meet up with my brother and my cousin downtown Brooklyn to go to first see the Bob Marley movie, which I'm very excited about. And then we're gonna go to I forget what it's called, Randolph's, Randy's to bowl, but it's feather bowling. And if I just looked that up, beats me. No idea what we're about to do. I'm excited. And the movie theater, I've never been to this chain of movie theaters, I guess, and apparently their food's good. I don't think they have ices, which I'm really bumming about, but I need to calm the fuck down. So, this is my outfit. Jacket is from the Brimfield Flea. Then I have this long sleeve that's from, I think, Vivant Vintage and Austin Mass, literally breaking all the rules. I'm wearing brown with navy with black. Comfort is key today, so that's just what's happening. My brown suede bag from my mama. My A6 and Vivid Westwood collab, which are waterproof, which is ideal because it's pouring rain. I also needed to wear pants that aren't too long on me because I don't want to get them wet. And then once pant legs get wet, like jeans and stuff, the water like creeps up and like absorbs and then your whole leg is wet. Like I just cannot. And then an umbrella, let's kick it. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. I'm about to go to Sintra's studio and meet Lily there. Lily Loomis, putting her Instagram here. We're doing a shoot with Saint Sintra. You guys know I worked for her last February, I think, question mark. And she's fabulous. I think she's one of the most talented people and hardworking people I've ever worked with. So I adore her. It's one look, but like three different variations. So I'm bringing a big bag with all the options. And then we're going to fit at Sintra's studio on Lily and then 
pack up everything, and then we're going to shoot later today, I think, at Elizabeth Street Garden. Hopefully, if it's not too packed, it's either that or, like, on the ferry. So, we'll see. I also have to edit you guys today and do a bunch of other emails for another shoot that I'm planning. So, it's gonna be a busy day, but this is the look. It's going to be 62 degrees today. Like, one of the options is my fur, like, my white fur coat. So, I'm just gonna end up wearing it to the shoot, or to at least Sintra's right now. I'm just gonna pray that I'm not too hot, which is why I'm just wearing a tank top underneath. This is thrifted, Lazy Lover Cargos, and then I'm wearing these shoes. But I just got in the mail, and they're so comfortable, and I think they kind of look cool with these pants. Comfort is key today, and then my go-to bag from The Real Real. I just did a little makeup and then a dark lip, because I always feel like that looks more elevated when I have like no makeup on. Very spring vibes today. We need it, especially after yesterday. Simply pouring rain. Also the Bob Marley movie was actually so good and I highly recommend watching it. And me and Kieran have been listening to Bob Marley all morning. See you soon. <laughs> is done came back here edited this video in the park for a few hours and then now leaving again to go meet up with Mallory who's shooting it central the designers mom's apartment where we're gonna change we're doing three looks originally it was supposed to be one we're just gonna bang it out but we're shooting in Elizabeth Street I think I said that garden and cross our fingers that it's not too packed I'm using this bag as like my personal bag extra big bag in case I'll be like carrying Lily shoes probably and like bouncing around this bag is from Lynn things I'm literally obsessed with it it's like this rose and it's like 3d so I can kind of like ruch it up it's such a great bag so many pockets a cross body strap that I could do if I wanted I have my styling belt in here as well, which I'll strap on. I'm obsessed with using this huge Apri bag to carry all the shoes and accessories and hats and things. Cause I haven't even seen the third look. It was just at Centrist Mom, so. But she wants us to shoot it. So we're just gonna do our best, babe. Let's do it. Monday me, the next week, I'm posting the video right now. Just wanted to close it out and say, I adore you. Thank you so much for watching. Lord, did I talk a lot in this video. I hope it's not annoying. I felt like it was my duty, my duty to share just like the not so fun parts of it all. Cause I would feel weird if I didn't do that. I adore you guys. I hope you have an amazing week and I'll see you next week's video. Love ya.